Hey guys and fellow tea lovers, I am sharing three cozy and delicious tea recipes for you to try this winter. I really enjoyed making this video, so I really hope that you enjoy these recipes. Let's get started. So the kettle is boiling and of course I have to light a candle to get me in a cozy mood. I'm starting off with one of my favorite new recipes inspired by a London fog. I call this a cinnamon fog. It's really straightforward. I only use three ingredients. And if you haven't already, definitely check out my Art of Tea unboxing. You'll learn a little bit more about some of the teas used in this video, as well as some of my new tea wear accessories. So the base of this recipe is a cinnamon fig tea, which I purchased from Art of Tea. It's a black tea, and if I was to describe it, I would say it has a sweet, spicy maple taste. It actually reminds me of coffee in many ways, and this is why I drink this in the mornings. Um, and I think that when you add the milk, it definitely gives me like latte vibes. So I leave it to steep for about two to three minutes. That's my sweet spot because I don't like it to be too strong, but I like it to be flavorful. Next, I add my almond milk to my frother. And what I love about this is I just prefer the texture of frothed milk, especially when making like tea lattes and then I just check on my tea I give it a little swell just to make sure that all the flavors are dancing around together I think that's the best way to describe it and then you pour I hope this is making you feel relaxed because I feel like especially when we're making ourselves a cup of tea or a cup of coffee in the morning, it should be relaxing. So I am adding, well I added some honey. I just love a little sweetness, like a, a little extra sweetness, but it isn't necessary. It just depends on um, how sweet you like your hot drinks. So I added in my almond milk and then I just added in some of the throfed leftovers on the top to give it that you know that aesthetic and now I'm adding some cinnamon go as crazy as you like I like the taste of cinnamon so um this is basically it but this is recipe number one I hope you try it and I hope you enjoy it moving on to recipe number two I call this chocolate peppermint cloud listen when I say this was good, so another art of tea used almond milk and also some marshmallows of your choice. Now you could also use hot water, but this reminds me of a hot chocolate. So I would say ditch the water and definitely use a creamy um, milk or a milk alternative like almond milk. So I'm using a pan, old school. This is one of my favorite pans for using tea, especially when I'm like boiling tea bags. Cause as you can see, there's like the strainer um, holes so then the tea bags won't get through. I'm also using a smaller um, strainer to strain out the tea once I'm done. So you're going to use medium heat and depending on how many people you're making this for, um, you know, you might use one cup, two cups. I'm the worst with measurements. <laughs> As you can see, my pot has measurements, so that's really helpful for me. Now, I put three spoons in because I wanted it to be thick and velvety. And when I say that when this tea boils, it legit looks like hot chocolate. You're gonna be very surprised. So I left this on medium heat for about five minutes. Um, I just let it slowly simmer. As you can see, it's starting to simmer and it's also starting to change color. Like, doesn't this legit look like hot chocolate? And it's so good. It has a peppermint, um, chocolatey taste and like what and like I was saying it's very like velvety you taste the chocolate for sure so I'm using my strainer um, this is like one of my favorite tea tools and I'm just pouring it in all the way well close to the top because you because you want to leave room for the marshmallows as well
doesn't this look so good like so good so i lost the footage of me adding the marshmallows but i did use these candy cane marshmallows um so tasty to kind of give it a little bit more of a minty taste and i added in a candy cane just for aesthetics <laughs> You don't have to add in a candy cane. I didn't even eat the candy cane, but it looks cute. But um, overall, like, honestly, you have to try this. It, uh, it's just so tasty. Last but not least, we have my lavender chamomile dream. This is my wine down tea, a tea that I will drink in the evenings. I'm using loose leaf chamomile and loose leaf lavender, raw honey and oat milk. Well, it's a vanilla creamer and it's oat milk based um i use that like when i drink coffee too definitely check it out i only find it at target nowadays so if you're looking for it definitely check out target so i'm using a strainer and this is just another way that i make tea um i just put the loose leaf in the strainer let it steep for about two to three minutes and then um you just lift it up so i would say it's definitely a quick way to make loose leaf tea Now, as for the ratio, I use two tablespoons of chamomile and one teaspoon of lavender. That's, I would say, the perfect ratio, but then you can kind of test it based on what flavors you prefer. I just prefer for the chamomile to be like the base and then the lavender to just add a little pop of flavor. So I would love to hear some of your favorite tea recipes or what teas you drink on the regular. So be sure to comment and share them with us all. So now when it comes to adding the creamer, I would say that depending on what type of flavors you like, you can add a little bit of almond milk to balance it out if you don't want it to be too sweet. Um, I found that that is a nice balanced way to make this recipe as well so as you can see i'm just pressing down the tea just to make sure i get the last of the flavors out and leaving it for a moment before i add in some raw honey and as i was saying honey is definitely optional but when it comes to a sweetener i don't think sugar like cane sugar is the best option because it can make the tea taste a little bit grainy but as you can see i just poured in the frothed creamer and look how lovely that looks it kind of reminds me of like a matcha tea um so just spinning that around to make sure that all the flavors have um adequately danced around together <laughs> and then i'm adding some lavender as a little garnish for aesthetic and there you go bob's your uncle <laughs> A little british phrasing there but i hope you enjoyed this video let me know which recipe you'll be trying you can also get 20 dollars off your first r of t order so check out the link in my description once again i'm shandice i'm a born and raised londoner building a life in atlanta join me for lessons laughs and lifestyle hacks subscribe